Hello and welcome everyone. Now in this uh, lecture, I am going to show you the uh, process of uh, adding the uh, 40 OS or the 40 gate firewall in EVNG. Now that you have, uh, you know how to, um, uh, what do you say, install the EVNG. Um, let's move on to importing the um, 40 OS uh, version 7 in the um, in the EVNG, okay. So, uh, for example, now right now I am inside the EVNG, and I have already the um, version that I have added is. Let me close the lab. So, if I do like this, or let's just keep it here and uh, let me show you that what I have added. So, I have already added the forty gate seven dot two dot one and seven dot zero dot three so i'll show you to um how to add uh, a 40 gate from seven dot uh, zero uh, maybe some other version and then i will show you that we will have three versions here and also i have already uh shown you how to add the seven dot two dot one in the previous video so uh, yeah so the difference would be obviously uh with the 7.0 version you don't have to activate the eval licenses but with the 40 gate 7.2 version you have to activate the eval license i have a previous video wherein i have shown you how to add the 40 gate 7.2.1 and uh how to activate the eval as well so the uh, process remains the same but in the 7.0 version you don't need to um yeah, activate eval it comes out of the box okay so we will uh, look into more details into that okay so in order to uh, have the um, image imported to your evng first thing you need to do is to uh, download the image right so to download the image the the best way is to go to the 40 um, net website itself for example this is the one so you can say support dot uh, support dot 40 net dot com is the website where you should go okay and then log in and then if you don't have a username password you have to register it here i have one i will log in hopefully the password is right okay i will go here mm. Yep, um, I'm inside this. Now, this would be the portal where you would see all your products, okay? So they, they give you a, a cool dashboard here and you can see how many uh, products you have registered and all. Now, if you are an uh, organization, you would have a lot of assets here, like under products, you would go here and you would see all your firewalls registered here and you would see all the details of all the firewalls here if you want to register you can register here i've shown you the same um, uh, i mean process how to register a firewall when we uh, you, uh, activate the evaluation on 7.2.1 now to download the image you have to go here services um sorry not services support and then we images right now when you go here in the vm images you have to download the 7.2 uh, version now i I mean, they do, do have a lot of uh, products here, right? But they have the 40 analyzer, they have the 40 manager, they have the ADC, which is application delivery control. It's like a load balancer. They have the 40 manager. As I said, it is the, um, uh, I mean, central management of all the 40 gate firewalls. And then do they do also have the 40 web. Now, uh, what we need right now is the 40 gate firewall. And then you have to select the platform. So for me, it is a... a uh, EVNG is basically a KVM based uh, platform. If you are going for, say, for example, VMware, in that case, you would have a different extension of file that you need to be uh, need to download, right? So let's go here and look into platform. So you have the Ali Cloud if you're running the the firewall in the Ali Ali Cloud, um, and if you're running on the public cloud, right? And if you're running on AWS, uh, then you can go and select the AWS. But for me, it is, you can also go for Hyper-V. You can also go for KVM, which is in our case, the 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 condition. And then you have Oracle, Rackspace, which is um, a private uh, uh, cloud services and VMware ASXi. So I'm going for KVM and I will go for the version, which is 7.0.9. Now you can see I have 7.0.3, I guess. Uh, if I go here, yeah, uh, and if you see, yeah, 703, we will um, download this and add the 709 here. So I'll go here and then you have to uh, go for the new deployment, right? 
you have upgrade you have new deployment for kvm right so you can go either to this one or this one the best part is that uh, the um, uh, file is very small and uh, it's it's uh, it's very light right so i can go to the new deployment either this or this okay so let's go for this one i will download this and and once this is downloaded i need to extract this exactly so uh before that i can also go to the um the uh evng website i need to go okay how to how to section is where i need to go and inside how to section what i need to do is wait a second i want to show you how to add this now the fi file has been downloaded i can go to my downloads folder uh, okay so i can see this is downloaded i'll right click and uh, extract this to a folder and inside that folder i would see a qkow2 file right now i have to go to um, google and then i will go evng once i am in the evng i'll go to the evng website here or you can say evng naming which is what i wanted to show you evng chemo namings and there is seems to be some problem with the website or maybe i have a problem with my internet okay basically what you need to do is once you have your evng for example i have my evng in 101 i will go and do a putty to the the vm which is 192 1.101 22 and I will do a SSH and open right and yes and the default is root and sorry the default is root and EBE and when I'm inside this I can um I mean uh, one thing is to have SSH and then one thing is you need to have a win SCP and you need to log into the file system of your um, evng 192.168.1.101 root and if eve done now once you are inside this um say yes once you are inside this you need to go here and and you need to go to the opt folder unit lab add-ons and chemo this is where you have to store the file now you should save the file like this 40 net fgt then uh, basically it's the 40 net um uh, hyphen this is what you need for the folder so i'll create a new directory here with this name and let's say this is 7.0.9 right so i'll just save it now inside that you need to have a virtue.qcow this is the name that you need to have okay i'll just copy this and i'll go here and in in this um zero i need to go into the downloads see um let's see okay let's go to desktop and then i need to go to basically the downloads um so i go to c basically and then up admin and i need to go to downloads and this one and this i will just drag and drop the file here and wait for this to completely copy inside the file system of the evng okay once this is inside the file system of evng now i have to rename it to the um the mentioned um, file uh, name right a uh, virtue.qcow instead of having this as um, the default 40 os.qcow it should be virtue.qcow so i will go here and click on rename and paste it here and that's it so after this i have to copy um and paste a file of fix permissions right eveng fix permission so um, this is the command that i need i'll copy this 
and I'll go to the CLI and paste it. I'll do it once more just in case, right? So, okay, done. That's all. That's all I need to do. Now I can go here. Let's refresh once more just to, yeah, and then node and then go to 48, uh, which is, which is here, 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 this one. Now I would have a 7.0.9. Now I will add one firewall just to test it. And I will add a network here and uh, it will be on the management cloud. And then I'll connect the port one to the um, cloud. And then I'll turn on, I mean, uh, to be safe, you can just wipe this once and then start the machine, right? Okay, now let's wait for the machine to um, initialize. And when I double click and open this in the secure CRT, uh, the first thing is um, it will ask for the username and password. Now, by default, there is a username of admin and which has no password. So you can see the serial number of the file, um, the firewall, sorry. And mm, you can just um, hit enter on the password and it will ask you for the new password. So you need to uh, set the new password. So I'll uh, enter admin as the username and hit enter. Now, where, when it asks for the password, I'll just hit enter and it'll say that you need to enter a new password. So I'll hit admin as well here and confirm the same password. So now I'm inside the, what? I'm inside the uh, system, right? So I've logged into the um, firewall now. Now um, to get the interface configurations, what you need to specify is the command is get system system and then you have interface sorry interface physical is the command and you can see by default on port one the mode is enabled as DHCP we need to change this okay even though there's a password there so I mean there's an IP address there I if I go here and try to ping this IP ping 192.168.1.5 which is uh, how it is what it has taken on the DSCP for this should be five. This is the other firewall Right, I am here and let me go and do an admin and oh, sorry admin and admin Okay Yeah, uh, so this that is the difference between 7.0.2 uh, and 3 and 2 0 0.9 that means uh, in in basically uh, 7.0.2 uh, which I'm using here the this one. Yeah, this one um, by default the HTTP um, is not enabled. Uh, let me show you how to see that if you go on the CLI which is on my secure CRT here. So I'm in this firewall the one that we added you can say config um, system interface right and then here you can say show now all the configurations of all the interfaces will be shown when what we are interested in is in the port one configuration and you can see set allow access is ping https ssh http which is in the case of 7.0.9 and 7.2 uh, series of uh, 40 years os um, uh, 40 gate firewalls right now in this case it is um, by enabled by default so that's why i am able to go to the firewall now let's um, change it. now you can continue using this but i want to change the ip address so i'll go here i'm already in the system i will say um, i mean I'm, I'm in the config uh, uh, system interface here now i just need to edit the port one right port one well, that is how you do it so now i'm inside the configuration of port one if i do only show i will see only the configuration of port one here Okay, uh, it works like that. Now to change this, you have to first of all set the mode from DHCP to static, right? Um, and then set the IP, set the IP um, to the desired IP. So I'll say 192.168.1.53 slash 24, enter. Now, if you want to change the allow access, you can do that. But remember you have, it doesn't append. You have to completely copy all others. If you just do set allow access ping, that means you will be allowing only pin and it will be overwritten uh, and the others other uh, services will not be allowed right so um, let's go on and now i don't need to do the uh, http here so um, 
now you just hit enter or next i mean end or next and you come out of this now if you refresh this um it is not going to work because i've changed the ip so i need to go and say 53 and this would basically come here and admin and admin am i an admin done now i will do this as begin and i will say i don't want to change the host name and optimal um, settings right i want to not see this again and here i am the build is version 7.0.9 and if you go to system you should see all the um, firmware details if you go here and the build is this one which we added recently right and the 40 gate um 40 gate uh, guard right 40 guard is not basically licensed so we'll say um you are uh, these things are not supported only the firewall vm is being licensed and and you have a limitation of this thing so you cannot have more than 2 gb and um 997 mb okay so remember that um so 2 gb rams one core this is the max allowed here one by one cpu right if you change this then it will ask for the um license okay so that is how you add the uh 40 os 7.0.9 in the um uh, evng so that's all for this uh, lecture i will see you in the next lecture thank you